Welcome to our series on Ignatian spirituality, Ignatian wisdom, as we look through the life of Ignatius as he has dictated in his autobiography and lessons that he wants us to, to learn. When he returned to Europe, to Spain, he made that momentous decision to study. Um, that it's a life-changing uh, uh, experience for him. Uh, it becomes more practical. Uh, he has a focus on studies. Uh, it changes his notion of, of daily sustenance and poverty. But something goes along with that, especially with regard to isolating service as most one criteria in finding how God is leading him. But when he returns to Barcelona and studies there for a couple of years, he gives us a passing reference in his autobiography, but he begins to gather companions. And that's important. He's seeking people who would share his enthusiasm, his vision, his vision of service and of being in with God through preaching the word um, itinerantly uh, as he wishes to do. That's important. Uh, it's a very important part of his spirituality. Um, all religious reformers, beginning with Jesus in all four Gospels and beginning a public ministry, what's the first action that Jesus does in all four Gospels? Is to gather companions. He calls people to preach with him, to follow him, uh, that sense of companionship. And all religious reformers since then have done the same. Francis of Assisi, Dominic, uh, Angela Meracy, in her own day, Dorothy Day, uh, and also Mother Teresa. That sense of companionship is also one way of looking at an authentic spirituality. One wishes to share one's vision and be enriched by the experiences of companions. We don't do this alone, and Ignatius realizes this. So beginning in his uh, return to Barcelona and beginning his studies of grammar, uh, he begins to gather companions. Now his first companions uh, will not be permanent. He learns quite a bit from this, as we will see. But just that impulse of sharing his vision shows an authentic spirituality. What does it say to us? That wherever context we find ourselves, in whatever mission, in our family life, our economic life, our neighborhoods, social life, always looking for companions. Companions may not be permanent, uh, maybe uh, in the sense of dealing with a particular project we're dealing with, but, but to find companions uh, to share the good news with and be a witness uh, through a sense of shared vision uh, is one way in which we preach and minister to others. So thank you very much.